Hi, I'm Terry. I work for our father in an oral surgery office. Welcome to today's Snapshot Podcast. Enjoy. Jack is a business insurance broker in California. He often finds himself in situations where a customer, colleague, or even a stranger may have a need that results in Jack praying with them. One of his customers called and shared that he would be closing his business and asked him to cancel all of his insurance policies. Jack said he could do that and then asked him if he was retiring. Yes, he was told. I have Parkinson's. Jack asked him how his relationship was with God, so he began to pray for him over the phone. Another time, a man in deep depression called him for help. He could tell by the sound of his voice that this wasn't going to be a quick fix situation. This was about saving his life. The man refused to seek professional help, so Jack told him he'd call him every day at a certain time until he was out of the woods. They talked daily and became close on the phone, always ending their time with prayer. This man would tell you today that Jack saved his life. Jack will tell you God just loved the man through Jack. They continue to talk once a month. One day, Jack was in a coffee shop near his office. A woman approached him, telling Jack the waitress said she should have Jack remember her daughter-in-law, Terry, in his prayers. Terry was in the hospital with a virus in her lungs. The doctors didn't know what it was. Jack said rather than remembering her later, why didn't they pray right now? A look of shock came to her eyes as if to say, Here? They did pray for Terry. The woman was touched. And then crying, she kissed Jack on the cheek, smiling at him as if there were no one else in the restaurant. God has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own design and grace bestowed on us in Christ Jesus before time began. 2 Timothy 1, 9 One of the most common desires we hear from Christian men and women of all occupations and ages is the longing for what they do at work to align with a greater purpose. There's a reason for this. It is a yearning that is a part of our DNA. All have been created for a purpose, with a purpose. For a purpose. It is for our Father's work in the world we have each been called to join Him in His love for creation and all those who He has created in His image and likeness. With a purpose. Each of us is given a uniqueness and never-to-be-repeated purpose. God has committed some work to each of us, which has not been committed to anyone else. We may never know it in this life, but it is a key part in His great work. We are a thread in this great tapestry that is civilization. Our work is a big part of each of our calling because it is where we spend 60% of our waking hours. What are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them a little lower than God. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet. Psalm 8, 4 through 6. The Population Reference Bureau estimates 180 billion people have lived since the human race began. 4% of those people are living today. It's easy to feel small and insignificant. However, our faith in Christ gives meaning and purpose to each of us. The world sets our minds on what we could be but are not. Christ, on the other hand, reconciles us to who we are and our call in the world. Only in Him is it possible to be fully happy in who we are and what we do in the world. This explains why every believer can live the humblest, most unknown lives and feel happy and fulfilled. Only life in Christ, fulfilling His particular mission for each of us and doing it together, fulfills the deepest desire of each of our hearts. Even though we're one in 180 billion, we're a unique individual and loved one. Our God is that big and that unequaled. Our Father, our Creator, who knew our purpose before time began, comes to us right where we are and establishes a personal and intimate relationship with us. It is a relation that engages us in His work in this world, in our own piece of the world, with particular others He loves. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? and who will go for us. 
And I said, Here am I, send me. Isaiah 6, 8 Father, you have created me for a purpose, and you have created me with a purpose. I embrace your call for me. I wish to fulfill your mission for me today and into the future, for only this will fill the deepest desires of my heart. Here I am, Lord. Send me. Snapshot Podcasts are a project of Worklight. For more resources like this one, visit us at worklight.org to sign up for our Flame monthly newsletter and our Workday Spark Reflections. While you're there, be sure to learn more about Challenge Weekends, small groups, and how to become an igniter for Christ.